The fires that we saw early in the month of January that burnt through Kosciuszko National Park caused quite a bit of extensive damage to the southern crabby frog population in the enclosure sites down in Kosciuszko uh, and to the enclosures themselves. As soon as it was safe to do so, we headed into Kosciuszko National Park, a team from Taronga National Parks and Wildlife Service and from DPI, uh, to assess the frog populations. And, and what we found was about 30 to 40% of the frogs actually survived the fires. Uh, we did lose over half of the frogs in the fires. And we also lost a lot of infrastructure, a lot of damage to the, to the enclosures themselves and also the irrigation and monitoring systems. The impact of these fires is a setback for the crabby frog population down in Kosciuszko National Park. It's, it's a setback to the program in terms of the numbers of frogs out there and also to the infrastructure that we had just right prior to the fires going through. Uh, but, but overall, uh, we can still have hope. We'll be able to rebuild these enclosures. We'll be able to hopefully raise enough funds to, to do all the repair work required. And here at Taronga Zoo and also at Zoo Victoria, we'll be able to produce enough eggs, enough frogs, that we'll be able to restock those enclosures again, back to the levels they were at within a few years' time. Here at Taronga, we've got the Taronga Wildlife Crisis Appeal, and that's there to raise funds for the wildlife impacted by the bushfires. And one of those is clearly the crabby frog. So through this appeal, if people could head to the website and take a look, uh, any donations towards that helps the bushfire, uh, wildlife affected by the bushfires, which will include rebuilding our enclosures down in Kosciuszko National Park so we can re-establish the species back in that wild environment.